at the World's Fair. The world in stainless steel, the Unisphere, as high as a 12-story building. 8,000 workmen bulldozed a million cubic yards of earth to bring four years of planning to an extravagant two-year life. On a man-made site in the middle of the St. Lawrence River, an estimated 50 million will have visited the largest World Fair ever. We've come a long way to get where we are today. We've made monuments and cut through continents, mastered human flights, sent up satellites, walked in outer space, created user interface, built cities on sand, turned sea into land, and still, we're not done. There's always that moment when you enter the gates. Lots of people, lots of crowds, music, food, and you really are entering another world. A cacophony. The reality and the fantasy don't ever meet with fairs in general. I mean, they're really spectacles of what we want life to be rather than what life is really like. Paradise, put up a parking lot. <laughs> 